it. <laughs> Okay, uh, welcome everyone to the glossary meeting. Uh, as a quick reminder, um, this is a CNCF meeting, so please, uh, yeah, follow the code of conduct. Basically, be kind to each other. Uh, exciting news: the German glossary is live, so we have two representatives here. Ooh. Awesome, yeah, finally. Uh, I know it takes a long time, especially since uh, Noah is not only working on the German version but also on the English version. So double work, um, double work, and double. Kudos, I guess. <laughs> uh, quick uh, update. Uh, quick update from QA. So we had lightning talk. Uh, I mentioned that in another meeting, but not here, I think. Uh, so the glossary stickers were gone on day one, which was amazing. Again, uh, I think it's just because they were smaller versions than the big ones of the CNCF. I think people got confused and thought it was the regular CNCF. <laughs> once but it's 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 cool because if people stick them on their computer suddenly they will realize oh this is actually not the cncf regular gloss uh sticker it's a glossary and maybe they can check it out so definitely want to ask them to do that moving forward because i think it's like cheap and it is a way to discover it and then for kubecon eu we resubmitted or with we i mean noah resubmitted the panel discussion which is like focused on um the localization part uh his story like and and how with different representative of different groups um we also submitted a panel discussion i submitted one with another group about cncf resources in generally in general they include the glossary so it's not uh only about the glossary but uh, there are many more so we want to kind of raise awareness of that and um then uh noah also submitted a talk it's not about the glossary but it's about contributing and like how the, a part of it will also be about non-code contributions and i guess yeah. the glossary we would get a call out yeah, yeah. i assume sure, i expect sure, that sure. now it's official yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I plan to to do that as well at, at the yeah. end to give some yeah some little yeah. hints that oh, it's a glossary <laughs> Yeah, and and yeah, and, and Simon too, sorry, yeah, I forgot that. So that's another thing, like, uh, uh, if anyone has, a, it doesn't have to be 100% glossary, uh, right? Like, if there is, like, an angle or something, and happy to help with that as well. Because, um, I mean, just, I mean, there's not enough to talk about the glossary to make a whole session about it, <laughs> right? So, but, like, if we can weave it in in different, in different ways, uh, that would be great, right? Because it would be good for people to kind of hear about it um so uh i'm really hoping that the tag will come soon we've been talking about that back and forth um we have the designer of the cncf kind of created mock-ups uh so you've seen um tags before but they were not re it was always a half implemented thing so i was really like uncomfortable with them i would i wish they were not live yet but it was like this half-baked thing that was live uh now um they will be up here so people can filter by tags if they want to and then uh here you can see it and go back uh to the different options so hopefully we can implement that soon we think it will work well uh and then if not we can always adjust at least that's uh what we hope um we also have like a little sheet uh with the maintainers where we're updating the tags for each term because we want them to be meaningful uh, i've seen at some point people were just adding whatever like application like anything can be application because it's all related to applications right <laughs> so and then it's not useful anymore right so it's like being a little bit more more um um yeah think it a little bit through so it makes really sense to have those so they're meaningful and then once we have that i think we're through now we have to kind of update those um provide a little guidance uh, in the contributing docs. Um, so that's everything I had, which is why I was saying at the beginning, it's probably going to be a short meeting. Uh, anything else from Noah? And I saw Ji Hoon is here as well. Nothing general, I guess. Yes, uh, I think the thing, one question from my side, like there is, you, do you know, like there's a local case study events happening all the time. So we try mm -hmm. to encouraging some people from the glossary 
to go to talk about those conferences, right? Like I see there's a KCD Berlin conference happening this year. So we can leverage those avenues to talk about the last two there because these are the local events. Yeah. Yeah, so we actually have, um, I think it's pinned in the glossary channel. Uh, we have like a, it's not super comprehensive, but the idea is that it gets uh, better. We have, a, I think, how did we call it? Like a glossary promo kit or something. <laughs> so you'll find uh, the deck that I did for the glossary. Then we have like one that's more, so we're trying to put things in there so people can repurpose them. Uh, one of our goals, like in a previous meeting that was before you joined Sam, uh, we were actually encouraging people, right, to uh, exactly to talk at, especially if you are, um, if you live in a place that has a KCD, um, to submit there. KubeCon is just one event. It's big and very competitive. I think uh, it's much more effective specifically to get uh, people to use and um, contribute to the local effort these kcds are so much better so yes like if that's something we should just submit and again like we are happy to provide as much or little help as needed right like it's it's good for everyone um so um yeah if where did you say is that kcd um like like, like 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 i just think like there's a german language is going to be live there's like chinese language and like korean language oh, yeah. and there's some events oh, yeah. yes but these are events happening yeah. like they said people and we, can, we, we try to encourage but even we can give a template to the people so they can use it for the cfp because you know it's a, it's a tough task for the people to write a cfp for because they haven't done it before so we can prepare some small template for the people to use it for the submissions. I think the abstract is in there too. So I think so. Yeah, because uh, that's the idea. We want to make it as easy as possible, so people just have to translate it. Um, yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So on the glossary side, like we are able to like the reason I'm joining the glossary today as well is like it's like there is a. Yeah, there's a terminology finding up that everything that especially in the supply chain security part. So do we plan to add those in the loss rate of in future or in the road specifically for the security security domain domain? I don't know. Like I'm hearing you very weird. Is that just me? Or it's like no, like it's a, it's your mic like, something so is with your mic. Yes. So you were super, fine before. Like a is, robot. <laughs> is it, it again? Yeah, is it it's fixed, fixed now. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, can you ask the question again? Because I was like uh, struggling to listen, yeah. to hear. Yeah. You're just saying, like, in the glossary, if we have terminologies in the security side, especially in the supply chain security side. Do we plan to add those in? Because these are so much of the observation behind it, abbreviation behind it, supply chain security, salsa, because now I believe, do we create another one or are these a part of the, the same glossary that I'm thinking about this moment of time? Um, so the glossary is really kind of, it's a cloud native glossary. So we kind of restrict it to cloud native terms and we have, had to reject some terms because they were not, because we have to say at some point, yes or no. So it, it's, not, yeah, it doesn't really, it's like, that feels like it could be another glossary, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, because otherwise it gets a little messy as well. So um, we were like focusing on things that aren't cloud native or terms that are needed to understand cloud native, right? If a term is needed uh, is like, yeah, kind of the basis of a lot of uh, definitions and not everyone might know it. We we will, we will include that as fundamental, right? Even if they're not cloud native. So that's kind of the rule that we've had. 
Yes, absolutely. As I see, like there's some open SSL foundations are coming up, so they might add same things in their glossary as well. But I, I get your point, absolutely. Another thing, like I, I just talked to Chris from the Linux Foundation, so then we might need to have some uh, localization for the certification exam as well. So is there a working group for that in the CNCF or weekly calls happening on? Do you know anyone from the CNCF, like? for the certification no, side. But, no, but I'm sure they're like always looking for. Yes, I'm, absolutely. I'm, I'm sure they're looking for someone. Uh, they would be happy to have someone who leads that effort or kind of at least kind of gets it started. But oh, yes, yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. Um, anything else before we get into the two teams that we have here? Okay, so Noah, David, the floor is yours for the <laughs> for the quick. Yeah, German sure. Um, so yeah, German content is live. That's what we already heard. Um, really awesome to see that on 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 the page finally. Um, then we have a new reviewer, which is uh, who is Baris. Uh, he couldn't join today because he has a meeting, but he was um, constantly. Um, making efforts to help us to get the content uh, ready. Um, and we are continue, continuing working on on, uh, localize, on localizing the other terms. Um, so we have two PRs that are open right now. And um, what I'm thinking of since, um, since uh, a longer time period now is to uh, somehow approach the Kubernetes uh, localization teams as well. Um, that somehow I, I had a, the idea back then already. And now that I'm um, <clears throat> involved with the 6 CLI, um, we recognize that there's also localization issues um, regarding the CLI commands. And um, yeah, so I, I, I plan somehow to to um, to approach the, the folks from Kubernetes localization uh, and maybe yeah um, convince them to help us or help them or somehow somehow connect with them and and see how how we can we could uh, potentially work together. Yeah, would be great. Like the Spanish team, where it's basically the same team, they're kind of yeah. merged together and it's like yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so maybe you can recruit some people over and then get back. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> but but I I have the fear that that uh, there's no not that much people for German localization because at first, uh, as I as I quickly did the research, I couldn't find anyone responsible uh, at all. So yeah, I will have to do my research. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, and then uh, Urdu time. Yes, absolutely. So there's a basically there's a students uh, I am actually working with. I'm, I'm delivering a course in this university called Fast Islamabad. So its course is up to an end. So these people are these students are basically are responsible for doing these kind of activity. But I want to have some student contribution in place because this is their part. They need to understand what the glossary is, what the terminologies are, because I, had, I am already familiar with these terminologies. So they are basically taking every step in the way. And so I'm actually helping them. So they have submitted, I think they translated 10 pages and they have submitted a five of them on the merger of the PR, but when I translated this, they have some issues in there. So I've actually reviewed what they have done so far. I've actually commented out like this Urdu is translated that you have is having issues in it because uh, you know when you translating language to the different language that means something different to the different people. So the context is stays the same. So actually the context is not working as I expect it to be. So they're basically working on behind the scene as well. And also in the university, there are some professor, professors who work, who knows Urdu very well and who have written books on top of Urdu and converting some English language to Urdu's. So I'm helping them. I'm they're actually helping us out because this is like some of the terminologies, like let's say Kubernetes Ingress Gateway API. 
how do we translate this into the Urdu? So do we make it ingress gateway API, but we need to give us some user perspective, what it means in Urdu in bracket, like we can do it. So there are some uh, limitations as of in Urdu right now. So they are basically working on that, but they have done translated some good numbers in there, much some PR, but I want to have some more time. So when it's going to be live, so people can read and educate about it because right now when I'm reading this, I'm not getting the contests out of it. So, nice. so I actually restricted to not make it in a production unless we come up with the good context. <clears throat> Yeah, it's better not, I mean, it's better to take it easy. And especially, I think it's kind of exciting because basically you are potentially, or the team is potentially coming up with how these terms will be called in Ordo because it's like pretty new. People are using the English terms. It's like, it's like, is there, should there be like a Ordo term for it? And if so, you will be able to kind of frame that and people will be using that for maybe decades, right? So that's kind of exciting. <laughs> You're in a in a very uh, cool place. And then, yeah, you should not rush that for sure. Because uh, if if you want it to work and people to actually adopt it and use those terms, uh, it, it needs to be good and takes time. Um, cool. So that's all that was on here. Um, so as mentioned, short meeting today. Um, unless there is anything else. I would say we're, we got when some we, time back. When we will be meeting again next year? Uh, yeah, cause it's, it's December, right? Yeah. Oh, we probably have to move that oh, meeting wow. or so. Yeah. 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 So, uh, have a great, uh, end of the year, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Likewise. I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay, well, thanks everyone for joining. And Thank you. see you all very soon. Bye bye. Thank Take you. care. Bye. Bye bye.